Dozens of people are here at the Veterans Memorial Wall remembering the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. But for our Gold Star families, Memorial Day is about a single name. It's the first time Renez Perez has heard this music in person in years. Oh, he, he's my hero. He's my personal hero. Uh, I am. I, I always. I always. I was always proud of him. Um, this is one more reason to be proud of him. But I always was proud of him. His son's name is on the wall. In 2011, Gil Morales was killed in action. Perez used to come to the ceremony with his wife to honor their son. This is his first Memorial Day ceremony since his wife died a few years ago. He sits alone. Every single day, we have to be grateful for the sacrifice that they had for, they had done for our freedom. If you rose up, Calvin Rockworth III's family grieves at their first Memorial Day without their son. Today is... It's heartbreaking, but it's also joyful because of everyone, all the names on the wall, all the families that are here joining in to, to give thanks for those who served. Rockworth III was killed eight months ago in a training accident. He was 38. With seeing all the names on the wall, it, it just brings back, it just brings back what everybody sacrificed for this country. Four more names were added to the Veterans Memorial Wall this year. You can see families crowded around it today. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side. Mm, Leah, thank you.